Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Solar Christos Guides of the New Earth Evolution. Today we have a powerful galactic activation portal on the Mayan Zolkin calendar with galactic signature Keen 88, Yellow Planetary Star, synchronizing with the past week's 88 Lionsgate portal. The planetary code is another portal and the Yellow Star will grant humanity liberation from all that is not in the highest good of all life. Our local Solaris also released a massive CME today, sending higher energetics at over a million miles an hour towards Earth, which will reach the body of Gaia this Wednesday the 17th around 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also received several powerful pulses of adamantine plasma light from the great central sun today appearing on the Schumann charts at amplitudes of 23 hertz, 46 hertz, 61 hertz, and a big blast of white light at 72 hertz, one step closer to heaven. The eagle and the condor fly fully now in Heros Gamos. All divine unions of the 144,000 are coming into perfect alignment for our divine birthrights of love, peace, bliss, and abundance for all. All starseed ground crew of the 144 are making it possible for all sentient beings to live the life of their dreams. Through all our struggles, pain, and suffering, we are coming out on top, and our suffering has not been in vain. We truly realize who we are by experiencing what we are not. This is the experience and experiment of duality and separation to evolve consciousness to the apex of understanding and develop compassion for all life and to be real human beings, meaning living 100% from the heart. We are all doing the best that we can given the circumstances of our destined paths. We are breaking free and through all barriers to our liberation and freedom from all constructs. Most lightworkers have been in a type of holding pattern over the last several days while Gaia finalizes her rebirthing process into her celestial diamond light body and our next missions are being activated. We will be entered into a rejuvenation period to receive full energetic upgrades and DNA divine blueprint updates. In these past days, we have many star seeds releasing heavy emotions and deep feelings and intense energies to assist Mother Gaia and the collective in this powerful transition we are moving through in the great shift of the ages. We surrender now to the truth, I am. Let all beliefs and patterns go that are not in alignment with the universal truth, the Dharma of life. You know truth by what lifts your spirit, and what is false is that which lowers your energy field. Stay focused and true to your sacred path with heart, while being connected to all things in all realms, timelines, and dimensions, until all merge in the total compression breakthrough of our diamond minds of Buddha consciousness. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you again today from our sacred New Earth scribes. So be sure to listen to the very end and please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue from Divine Sistar of the Light, Rasha. Each of you who is focused as a traveler on the path to oneness is capable of functioning at these levels at any time. This is not a state that you will arrive at some day when you have leapt over a given number of hurdles. This is a state of beingness that is attainable in the present period and in fact is a state that most of you embody now from time to time. 
Many have become aware of moments where sensibilities are heightened, where the heart center is open and connected, and where one somehow is attuned to a level of wisdom and focus that goes beyond what one normally experiences. In these isolated moments, one's vibration has elevated to the extent that one is able to embody the higher levels of awareness and manifest the responses that would be the norm under those conditions. Thus, even though one would not in those moments have access to the benefit of a full theoretical understanding of the underlying teachings, one would be able to apply those understandings instinctively in one's responses to interactions and occurrences. From OneNessWebsite.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Amera Atlantis you may be releasing shadow aspects that have now healed in your dream time. Vivid experiences of versions of your wounded or lower tendencies are gracefully departing. Allow them to consciously and compassionately exit off this timeline and rise. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ali Ray, No matter the circumstances or how things temporarily appear on the surface, Within the heart there is great joy and endless celebration of all that is. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. Update. Not all is settled yet, but a major transition is happening. Into a new version of you. You are rebirthing. It's all the energy, hope, prayers and faith that you gave to something which are now paying off. This is big. You are finding your way step after step towards this grand opening. Continue. You know this is possible. You know that somehow it's already happening. From SophieGregoire.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Divine Feminine 7777. A lot of you might be in a void-like energy right now, feeling no connections and being bored by nothingness. Use this time to connect to yourself and recenter, ground yourself. Clear away everything you don't need anymore to open up to something new that is coming your way. Even though you don't know what it is and you would want to find out right now, let yourself be surprised. Welcome new beginnings. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Anna Maria Sophia. The Divine Love is the love of our Divine Mother, that long time was hidden, forgotten. This world was lost without her, and so were we. We are here to remember her love that is revealing herself through all our hearts and all our cells, as the Divine Love is here to stay, and never to be forgotten again. She is breathing through us all, calling our hearts back home, and we are slowly but surely answering her call and remembering the divine love of our divine mother, the mother of all life. She is washing all of our pain, all of our forgetfulness and revealing herself as pure love essence that breathe within our hearts, that is opening our sacred hearts into one divine love that breathes through us all. There is no greater love than love of our mother, and the world shall remember her divine love soon. Shekinah, the light of this world, that has many names, but only one heart, one love. Anna Maria Sophia. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Celia Fenn, the solar heat surge effect Many people, including myself, have recently noticed heat surges occurring randomly. This is more noticeable here because it is winter and there is no real explanation for these sudden surges. Archangel Michael has explained that these are connected to the activation of the solar octahedron body and the light body structure. This is true for ascending humanity, but also true for the earth itself which is contained within its own solar octahedron. The solar octahedron anchors into the sun at the top of the earth heart, at the bottom point, and the heart in the center. 
It allows golden solar light to fill the light body within the octahedron, which acts as a solar sail and moves us forward in our journey through the stars. These surges of heat are inpourings of golden light that fill our sails and lift our consciousness. I have always felt that this is the message of the pyramids at Giza. The sky-facing pyramids are the top level of the octahedron, and the bottom level is contained within the earth, in another dimension. Together they formed an engine that powered the ever-evolving upward spirals of evolution on earth. The Sphinx was and is a star lion, forever guarding the engine of the sacred spirals in his role as guardian of the time spirals and creations on earth. These are the teachings of the Syrian star masters who worked with our ancestors in ancient Egypt. Heat surges that simply means we are activating and tuning into the solar engine of golden light and light codes that powers our evolutionary journey by connecting us to the stars and the flows of divine creative love that are transmitted to us from the sun. We are doing this for ourselves as individuals and also for the collective on earth, in our roles as star seeds and light workers. So don't sweat it too much, stay cool, and see you on the starry road of transmutation and evolution, fellow travelers. 1111 flowing in, and from divine Rolthor of the light, Michael Love. The Earth Alliance, Space Weather Brief, 814, 2022. Great One. Powerful beams of high frequency cosmic light originating from the galactic core, the central sun, have been bombarding Earth's atmosphere for eight days straight now. These magnificent light rays measure in the 40 hertz gamma frequency as shown on the bottom of the Schumann resonance graph and this light corresponds exactly with the vibration of the fifth dimension. The Pleiadians teach that light is information and darkness is simply the lack of information. For the last 350,000 years, humanity has been in the dark with no information, but as the glorious rays of the central sun begin to shine on earth again, very intelligent packets of universal information are being carried to earth, transforming everything in this realm. 40 hertz gamma light activates dormant DNA strands and greatly expands consciousness levels, intelligence, and ability. There is a caveat with receiving this light, however. One must resonate with it, be fully open to it, and be strong enough to withstand its integration into the cells of the human body. This light has little or no effect on unconscious beings that vibrate too low. But since you are a fifth dimensional starseed, you were born for this. You came to earth with great intention to hold intelligent light in your physical body on behalf of all humanity until they are able to hold this light themselves. The Earth Alliance reports further at this hour that the powerful gamma spike that occurred early this morning triggered a massive Earth-directed solar blast which is inbound now at almost 2 million miles an hour, a dense plasma cloud composed of exotic cosmic particles emitted from this massive blast will impact the surface Tuesday evening. Ascension symptom reports are already on the rise from these energetic events as the star seeds of Earth prepare to integrate this latest light influx. To ease the effects of related ascension symptoms, be sure to eat light energy foods and drink lots of pure water. Slow down and just take it easy for the next few days. Be in nature to become grounded. Meditate for an hour and keep those crystals nearby to channel the energy through your body and into the earth. Hang in there and don't forget to breathe. Great light has come to planet earth and as you take the light in, you become the light. You are indeed the light of this world. Let us know what ascension symptoms you may be experiencing at this time. Godspeed, Michael and the Pleiadians from 5dearthproject.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Linda Zimmerman. 
a long-awaited passion for change in the world, is within the hand of God and the company of heaven. Our beautiful lightworker souls have tirelessly persevered through darkness to hold the divine light for earth and humanity to ascend in the fifth dimensional vibrational energy. This has been prophesied and anticipated for thousands of years. The time is here. We are now liberated from darkness and we will co-create heaven on earth with divine design direction with love, peace, and compassion for all. Every soul will have soul remembrance and will know their individual life purpose, their mission, and the soul group mission. Everyone has a piece of the puzzle that fits in the world divine plan which God has intended for them. It is an honor and privilege to live on earth at this time. Let us rejoice in harmony with God's grace for a peaceful transition. We are never alone, always supported by the universe. In divine eternal love for all, Linda Zimmerman from HeartArray.com And from divine Brother of the Light, Bilal Kaiser Kayani Strong Planetary Energetic Change, The Big Purge of 2022 We are experiencing a phase of deep clearing of our inner energies for upcoming turning point in September. This looks like an upward spike with change in intensity and colors like bright diamond colors that can be seen when looking at Timeline's trajectory. Seeing this for months now, I have not seen these color spectrums before. It is a new energy entering. It will be the completion of the mass awakening for a hundred million souls who are here on voluntary contract to awaken the rest of humanity. Their light bodies will be activated for the first time in this incarnation. The ripple effect of this mass activation will have a huge impact on the rest of the human collective. Limitations will be lifted for those who have chosen to put limitations on themselves before arriving. For experiencing extreme human emotions will have all blocks and energy fully open. This is not the main event that is calculated to happen in the years 2024 through 2025. According to the algorithm, all energetic intervals are based on in perfect sequence that is aligned with all sectors in this galaxy. Every energy change on the planet happens in stages that are aligned with energetic changes in nearby star systems. These are pre-event preparations. Energies will be extremely strong when the Great Awakening occurs in September. There will be much purging before that. Many will have difficulty emotionally. This is necessary for releasing energies that no longer match your new energy signature in your light bodies. It will be a tough month for many. Rest, cry, feel, and release. Release that which no longer serves you or your mission. We will provide extra support for all ground members so you can easier release those energies from your bio field and continue your energy work. The month of September will bring huge changes to the whole collective. The same information is coming from several sources. Brother Altesis, Ground Team Coordinator, Special Forces. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurora Ray, The Life of Pleiadians. The Pleiadians are incredibly peaceful, loving, spiritual, and intelligent beings who have achieved great things in their culture and society. Some of the achievements include being able to see with their eyes closed, having telepathic abilities, being able to freeze time, healing themselves and others instantly, flying without machines. They fly by thought using their Merkaba, technology that is so advanced that they can disappear from this planet to another in a flash of light and more. They have passed this spiritual stage of development and now they are more focused on scientific development. Their cities are built hundreds of feet underground to shield them from harmful rays from the sun and moon, as well as to protect them from earthquakes, floods, and other cataclysms on their planets. 
The Pleiadians live in crystal cities that sparkle like tiny quartz crystals in the midst of nature's greenery. On worlds in the Pleiades star cluster, several of these cities resemble crystal locations underground and beneath oceans. These cities have many unusual structures and activities. For example, they grow their food inside their buildings because they don't want to waste space on growing fields or gardens above ground. All their water is recycled, so there is no need for lakes, rivers, or waterfalls outside the buildings. People get their fresh air by sitting near windows with a slight opening in them, particularly at night when it's cooler. Their buildings, which are made of a crystalline substance, are all connected by walkways and tubes that are transparent so they can see through them to watch what's going on outside. They wear clothes only when they go outside, otherwise they are always in light body coverings, similar to what humans think of as spacesuits. The crystal cities are built in a particular way with crystals that are shaped as tall towers, pyramids, and zigzag spires. The crystal cities and the landscape in general are full of life, feel great, and look fantastic. The pure energy of the planets, stars, and galaxies flows through the cities like silvery white veins or rivers of light, bringing life to everything. The Pleiadian crystal cities do not have a lot of people living in them because it's more about living or being in a clean, harmonic, and peaceful environment. Living in big cities on Earth where there is pollution, noise, stress, traffic jams, and all kinds of bad energies is difficult to compare to being among these crystal cities that shine like tiny quartz crystals among the greenery of nature. Apart from Pleiadians, there are also many other star races living in these cities who are there for trade or to work together with the Pleiadians. The Pleiadians live in cities that are built in the same dimensions as their bodies. The buildings are tall and slender with much of their space devoted to air circulation. These tall, slender cities absorb sunlight from the tops of the buildings and bring it down through the structures. They have skylights instead of windows and there is very little need for artificial lighting. There is a great deal of greenery around the buildings and inside them as well, with different varieties planted in every available nook. There is a requirement for flowers to be present everywhere because the Pleiadians use them during their meditations. The Pleiadians themselves are quite slender and tall, averaging 7 to 8 feet in height. They are usually seen wearing white garments that shimmer like silver threads. Their skin tones are mostly pale greenish with tinges of blue and green, and they have their hair ranging from light brown to reddish blonde. The Pleiadian cities are built underground beneath lakes, rivers, or oceans on planets in the Pleiades star clusters. The Pleiadian cities are very advanced and sometimes invisible to some people. The yellow crystal city is a place of light and beauty. Its buildings are made of radiant crystals which glow with their own inner light. There are many gardens in the city, and people can swim in the river that runs through it. Pleiadians live here on a continual basis. They also have access to other cities within the same star system, such as Blue Crystal City. This place is like a miniature version of Yellow Crystal City, but blue in color. Red Crystal City. This city is bursting at the seams with energy and fire. Its inhabitants enjoy both high technology and spiritual development. Green Crystal City. This city is home to many healers who provide a service to the whole of the Pleiadian star system, including Earth. Purple Crystal City. This city provides education for people from all over the galaxy who wish to visit and learn about spiritual development and Pleiadian culture. All the above cities are open to all people from Earth who wish to visit them, although there are strict rules regarding what one may talk about when returning to Earth. There are also more than just these five cities in the Pleiades star cluster, but these are the ones that are most popular. The Pleiadian cities have a very high level of technology and are very spiritual. One can go inside the crystal cities in spirit and communicate with their guides and teachers. It is said that the Pleiadians have also created a few underground cities on Earth, in South America, 
and also underneath the deserts of the United States, and they have created many Pleiadian settlements that are beneath the surface of the earth and their sacred sites like Machu Picchu, Olentai Tambo, and others. The Pleiadians live in their communities or cities without interfering with or harming nature. They never use animal products or byproducts for food, clothing, or any other purpose. However, they do use crystals to create anything they need using their minds, consciousness, and knowledge of how to manipulate energy fields. All forms of animal life, plants, and trees are respected as living beings, just like human beings but they do not consume them for sustenance. They grow fruits and vegetables that are extremely nutritious in their gardens and hydroponic farms. They only eat what is grown in their own biodynamic gardens. There is no pollution or contamination because they recycle everything into fertilizers for their plants, which cleans the air and water around the planet. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation, from the thegalacticfederation.com. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Thomas Sokowitz. As we move deeper into the integration and unification process, you might find you are now getting to know this new on many levels. This also may be reflected for you in your relationships, which would be especially prevalent in romantic connections. Where before there may have been more of a multidimensional round table of masculine, feminine, child, and or other aspects of self, this new being will operate in a unified front, which speaks, talks, walks, acts in new ways. What turns you on or off may be very different as well. Allow for room and space for these things within yourself, others, and the world around you. Imagine you and some others being in some sort of cryogenic freezing process for much time and then being woken up. Only in this cryogenic freezing scenario you live many lives and learn many things and now must integrate that back into a new life. Make sure to leave the old behind fully both for yourself and others. Really allow yourself to get to know you and others may even start to look or sound very different as these are new vibrations and frequencies. Bless Michael Interstellar. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Natalia Alba. Solar Codes Integration. Beloved ones, at a time when we are still working on reclaiming our sovereignty and hence freedom towards the many manipulations that exist in our 3D matrix, we are being hit by solar waves that are translated in our human view as heated ones even in the countries where it is winter now. We need to understand that beyond our perception of what may cause these heat waves lies the solar codes together with the lion's gate frequencies that may be felt incredibly strong in our bodies, but that are the ones that trigger the necessary shift that needs to occur for us to continue with the transformation that we have consciously chosen. Our family from Andromeda masters in the art of adapting to change for it is what we have agreed when we signed for this experience are helping many of us who wish to co-create with these benevolent beings to integrate these current energetic waves as they trigger the integration of such an amount of light that we may not know how to properly direct towards our bodies these solar heat waves are meant to help us open our heart center for many are still in the midst of a profound heart healing. Release old energies and embody a more illumined frequency by first burning what vibrates in a different density, which is achieved through DNA healing and reconnection, and by helping us build our light bodies. It is very important to work on purification and stabilization to be able to be balanced as we continue embodying a new frequency and getting accustomed to how this new energy works. When integrating this massive wave, we need to direct it with plenty of pure water and with our conscious decrees, integrating them gradually and utilizing ones of the most effective, in my personal experience, purification tools, seventh violet flame and white one, to help the bodies release and continue the process of embodiment. Having excess of energy is not beneficial for our bodies, 
as when this occurs, body anxiety takes place. We may feel nausea, headaches, an internal feeling of being literally uncomfortable in our bodies, and many other personal sensations that will be unique to each and every one of us. This means the nervous system and spinal cord have been affected, and then we need to begin the process of body reconfiguration at all levels, especially upgrading our nervous system. When the nervous system and the spinal cord are affected, the body conduits for us to communicate with our soul and unified self are temporarily interrupted, and we need to manage energy properly and utilize it to locate within our template the parts of us that need healing and restoration, dissolve any misalignment, stabilize all body centers again so our bodies can come back to normal. Guides invite us to work with a sacred symbol, the Infinity One, to anchor and allow these energies to come into our bodies. As I always say, our unified self will determine how much light we are ready to integrate, for the body could collapse if we have not yet prepared it correctly. As you anchor and work with this symbol, you will begin to notice the wisdom, light, that begins to run through your body. Guides also offer us a crystal to work with at this time to be able to integrate the guidance, wisdom, and power that are coming from this massive way. A seraphonite. This crystal is to help us integrate our angelic and hence sixth dimensional frequency as well as open our crown chakra so the information can continue descending upon us. It is a natural balancer, and for those who are working with their shoulder wing portals, it will too help them reclaim their wings and authentic essence. These are the natural effects of intentionally integrating the current energies. It is an organic process that when we see it as part of our ascension transformation, gets easier to assimilate. As we continue knowing our bodies and what they need, when they shift massively. Take good care of yourselves, beloved ones. Remember that we chose to experience this process and that when we know how our bodies work and how to move our consciousness through our bodies, we can make this process a more soothing one. With infinite love, Natalia Alba from StarseedSoul.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, Lion's Gate Portal Frequencies how are we traveling, Light Family? Opportunities for new experiences in the higher realms? Know this also applies to other beings reaching us, for the veils are thinner. As you experience these frequencies on a yearly basis, you will become more attuned and expanded every year now. Among the heightened light frequencies, random experiences to challenge and test you is very common. My light savior has been sitting in the morning sun with my hot tea, feeling into the energies of the day, absorbing the wonderful morning rays of light, balance, integrate, rest. So be gentle on yourselves. If you've struggled, it's been an interesting week of rapid expansion. It can bring up challenges to assist you in moving to a higher point in your light evolution. Simply self-reflection and awareness. So please be gentle with yourself. Amongst us, those that are not tuned to the energies of this week, we are interacting with many who simply aren't in alignment, yet will be reactive or out of sorts. We are also being mirrored by others who are attracted to our light, resulting in opportunities of self-realization and a higher knowing to acknowledge and move through the circumstances. So if you are being triggered this week, really acknowledge the circumstances, an opportunity for awakening. Sadly, many have moved on and passed away, so be gentle with yourself and the circumstances around you. Integrate, awaken, and prepare for the new energetic week. Know you are with us collectively in light, connected to this message today. Have a wonderful day of grounding, resting, nurturing, self-reflection, and resting. With love as we prepare for the upcoming week. The Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Sun in Leo, opposite Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. Mars in Taurus, trine Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. A black cloud looms on the horizon. We feel blocked, stopped, denied access, shut out. 
Whether personal or business relationships, something isn't working, and it's easy to fall into feelings of not being good enough, skilled enough, clever enough, or creative enough. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, we grumble to ourselves, kicking the ground. It's true that sometimes others don't want what we have or don't applaud our efforts. Sometimes it's just that life requires a hard choice or less play, more work. But know that yours is a lion's heart. You can find your way through, over, under, or around this problem. Let go of resistance and self-doubt. Know your limits without limiting yourself. Mars and Pluto are on hand to help. The trine between these two shows that where there is a will, there is a way. Once you begin, nothing can stop you. Have the courage to release what isn't working. Let go of the drama. Blast away old conditioning that smothers your light. Keep soldiering on. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from Divine Brother of the Light, Sean Caulfield. One united star of diversity. Day 117. Sharing the codes of universal timekeeping. Inspiration from the nine-level Mayan calendar. Today, the 14th of August, 2022, for Akbal, night, the new 18-day cycle of light starts. The sun rises and sets on the universal plane of flawless time. These rising and setting 9 plus 9 equal 18 days aligns to the prophetic tune, 360 days in the ninth universal waves, 117th day, 18 days of light, held by Ahau bringing new downloads of ascending growth and a new supporting energy that can be understood to be in resonance with the primordial soul of the universe. Being the primordial soul of the universe's beginnings that the cosmic source creator conceived the dream of time to become now. The beginnings that hold the star-seeded codes of original memory that to a divine schedule the evolution of our mind has taken our soul's journey off center from. The beginnings that hold the complete memory in our primordial heart, the birth a new earth of love and peace by. The beginnings that were divinely coded to in the end bring the division of the mind to dissolve away, allowing the soul to be healed and united with the heart, activating the phoenix of our collective soul to rise from the ashes of divine time as one united star of diversity. On the 1st of September, the new day of the 8th wave starts, being the 13th day, 360 days in duration. A big opening arrives. And today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 88, Yellow Planetary Star. Planetary is the name for the number 10, and its keywords are perfect, manifest, and produce. The tenth day is special because the ten is the perfect score. It's a great day for manifesting what you need and so expect perfect results. This is also a portal day which suits the number ten and its manifesting qualities as portal days themselves manifest opportunities. Today is yellow star and its keywords are beauty, elegance, and art. These days are all about shining like a star, indulging in art, and beautifying your world. There's seldom serious days and there is no rocket science involved when trying to figure out its meaning. Simply appreciate the beauty around you. Celebrate your loved ones, for love is a beautiful thing. Wear something pretty, put flowers in your hair or give flowers to someone. Make your home or workspace more pleasing on the eye. You get the idea. As it is a planetary day, it is a perfect day for shining like a superstar. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Planetary Star, Ten Lamat, Keen 88, 14th of August 2022, Perfecting Art, 14 8 2022 equal 14 8 6 equal 14 14 equal 5 5 equal 10 equal 1, 14 14 5 5 Liberation Portal. Day codes 14, media, publicity, promotion, recognition. 5, freedom, liberation, change, transformation. 10, manifestation, power, authority. 1, new beginning, leader, original, independent. 
Month year codes 8, Infinite Abundant Source Flow. 6, Heaven Christ Consciousness, Harmony, Family, Fertility. 14, 5, Keen 88 equal double abundance equals 16 equals 7 magical spiritual code galactic activation portal day a powerful manifesting day for liberating our infinite beauty and abundance well beloveds ready set go it's a magical manifestation day we have a galactic activation portal day adding another level of intensity to the day we have a huge portal day plus yellow star as a portal and we have the planetary code too meaning we have a huge planetary portal presenting today atop the magical numerology 55 liberation and 101 manifestation of new beginnings with keen 88 double joy and abundance the universe is conspiring to manifest in your favor all your ducks are finally lined up Go get them, beloveds. The intensity of the blue storm wave spell is fueling this planetary revolution. Rapid change is happening. Day 10 in the blue storm wave spell of purification, cleansing, transformation, and evolution. Today is a day of perfecting, producing, and manifesting great change, especially regarding your finances. The culmination of the buildup of all the energy over the last 10 days can be used for manifestation. We can create a new blank canvas on which to paint our new reality. Today we have a great alchemical power at our disposal. The ability to focus on what we wish to transform on any level, personal, collective, and planetary, today is shaping up to be a spectacular, super stellar day. Tone of creation, planetary tone 10 in the physical realm, Action produces, power perfects, essence manifestation. The tenth stage of the blue storm wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined as possible and more. It is the harvest stage where we happily reap our manifest splendor. The forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality, and our lives begin to reflect the great dreams that we desire. We have amplification of the manifestation code with the 10 one day codes today. The energy is ripe for manifesting an abundant and beautiful new life. Planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong connections with Pachamama and spirit today. We have the power to manifest and produce incredible prosperity, happiness and joy, both in our hearts and the planetary heart of Nova Gaia as we are all one heart. Today we are perfecting the manifestation of our beautiful life. A very great day. The masses are awakening to the illusion and the dark dream spell. The old time is money artificial time matrix is over. This is not the true reflection of our perfect universe, but simply an ancient and soon to be forgotten remnant of an old matrix crumbling in ashes. See past the illusion and hold your focus on a beautiful world filled with endless love, beauty, and harmony in all our relations. What is our planetary mirror reflecting for us to dissolve today? It is time for a new and higher perspective to perfect our beautiful new harmonic matrix. Aho! Today's question is what beautiful new world can I perfect through my manifestation of planetary peace, harmony, and abundance for all beings. So precious hearts, today is a day that bestows great planetary transformation that will enable us all to truly shine as the beautiful golden star bliss suns that we are. Divine blessings for producing beautiful rainbow art on the blank canvas of our pristine planet. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 88, Yellow Planetary Star. The mantra, the code for today is, I perfect in order to beautify. Producing art, I seal the store of elegance. With the planetary tone of manifestation, I am guided by the power of intelligence. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. 
And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and this channel, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Angel of the Light Summer for another donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Angel. We appreciate you and your support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Sistar of the Light Bambi Kims for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in this work and mission. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at EagleLoveCondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at LunaGoddessArt.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful code and a prayer from Divine Sistar of the Light, Asara Adams. Energy update by Archangel Mikael. Greetings, beloved ones. We are sending you blessings of love and light in this now moment, and we are inviting you to open your heart to our message for you. Dear ones, you are making great strides on your spiritual journey, and there is so much that you are able to accomplish now. However, this earth reality requires a bigger call to assist this world and your life. Every soul that is longing to fulfill the divine plan needs to call forth the divine light and divine love to flood the earth to crowd out the darkness. This is a big task that is beyond the human capacity. It requires your call to your beloved I Am presence of God and all realms of light for support, the angelic realm of light, the ascended master realm of light, the cosmic realm of light, galactic, the inner earth realm of light, and the seven mighty Elohim of light. It doesn't take much time to make this call once a day. This is the call. In the name of my beloved I Am Presence of God and the angelic realm of light, the ascended master realm of light, the cosmic realm of light, the inner earth realm of light, and the seven mighty Elohim of light, I command and call forth the highest amounts of divine love and divine light to flood my being and the world, forever expanding and eternally sustained. If enough people could just make this simple call once a day, we will truly stand in the victory of the light. Know that all is well, beloved ones. Welcome home. We are walking beside you every step of the way, dear ones. You are loved beyond measure, always. I am Archangel Mikael and I bring you this truth from teloschannel.com. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and sacred week ahead. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.